Oh, my name's Fox Knight, so they can have a Fox. I know this isn't a popular cartoon or anything like that, and again, I'll, I'll get to stuff like, uh, I would bend 10,000, like, I'd probably go through some of that again later at some point. Again, sorry, again, I even, you know, but, uh, in any case, uh, I've been playing Watch Dogs Legions a little bit. I, I, I like the game, so, uh, the game's alright, it's not the greatest thing. I play it as, like, a modern-day Assassin's Creed game. Uh, it's kind of fun when you play it like that. And, like, I just got the character Mina Sidhu. I actually recorded a little bit of gameplay of me playing her. Uh, but one thing that I didn't know going in was that they didn't have this, which I thought this was going to be in the game. I explained, like, her backstory and all that stuff. It wasn't, so I was like, ah, crap. So, better late than ever, I want to check this out. And then uh, maybe, like, later on, I'll upload the gameplay of me playing it. But tell me what you guys think. Uh, and maybe, you know, check out the gameplay when it comes out. But anyways, let's begin in 3, 2... That's just pretty cool. And here's the thing, just before I continue. I like... The reason why I got Watch Dogs Legion is I wasn't planning to get it originally. It was because they had they said they were going to add an assassin, an assassin from Assassin's Creed, like a modern-day assassin. I'm like, that's kind of cool. I want to play that. And then eventually, like, I found out about Mina when I looked up, like, when is the DLC release? And they talked about her. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like, she has a... Like, you'll see. But, like, this is a character that I honestly was like, all right, I'm kind of excited to play this character. Three days earlier. The doctor from Kakani Medical called it Project Omni. She said it was my decision to volunteer. Let me ask her what it was. Other options, prison. That's not much of a choice. Yeah. The doctors were trying to find a way for Albion soldiers to communicate using just an optic and their thoughts. Mina, test subject zero. Yeah. When I woke up. I realized I could echo their thoughts in my head. And I could control them. They took my freedom, caged me, and experimented on oh me. Oh my god. So ripped theirs from them. <laughs> oh my god. It only took three days to do all this? Interesting. My name's Mina. These powers weren't my choice. But what I do with them now? That's up to me. And it's time to fight back. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, so yeah. Like, here's the thing about me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I ever said it too much. I love super high tech experimentation. I like, the, like one of my like I love and also I love the video game series Infamous. So you got stuff like Prototype, where like you know it's a biological agent that like makes you like a super soldier, but it's so, like you know can turn like basically makes you Venom uh, or biological weapons. I love that shit. Like uh, turns you like Venom, or you have Prototype where you know the Ray Sphere creates conduits, saying like you know shoot electricity. And stuff like that. I love all that stuff, like experiments kind of thing going on. Even though the race here, I guess, kind of. But like, yeah, the only reason I really like Mina was because, yeah, she's like in this side of my world. They give her superpowers, basically, basically where she can control people's minds and stuff like that. Which also, someone like in this comments, there's a comment in here. Oh yes, a walking apple of Eden. Yeah, I know Assassin's Creed is gonna be hearing. <laughs> I know the Assassin's Creed is gonna be hearing about. It. There is gonna be an assassin soon. So again, there, but that's like. The third one, I'm like, damn, when Darcy enters the chat, great, now I gotta protect her from the Templars. Hell yeah! That'd be sick. Right? Uh, let's see here. Uh, what was I thinking? Actually, if anything, technically speaking, her powers could technically be a evolution of Eagle Vision. Because, assuming, like, again, they're all in the same universe, and they say, they say, no! Even though Ubisoft's like, no, they're not in the same universe. Shut up. They kind of, they pretty much are. You pretty much confirmed, especially when you confirm that there's an assassin in this. Uh, but, uh, she has, like, you know, these mind control powers, which, there's a comment in this, I won't bring it up, but, like, the person says, oh, I'm, gl I'm glad it wasn't just magic that you explain her powers. Look, here's the thing, and I said this in my last video, or the video that hasn't come out yet, of the gameplay, but here's the thing. Magic, or sci-fi and fantasy are the same damn thing. <laughs> and like you were saying, that's not true. It kind of is. Like 
and here's a good example of it. Again, she has mind control power. She has whatever. How does it happen? You know, she got experimented on. I got technology thing. All right. How about in a fantasy setting? Same thing could happen. Ah, she was messed with ma a, a wizard experimented on her and gave her magical powers. Like, the only difference between sci-fi and sci fantasy is literally this magic item is technology. That's it. That is the only difference between sci-fi and technology. You might say like, oh, well, different tech and stuff like that. Just, uh, uh, you could have a, a literally an advanced magical world and same thing. Like, the only thing is that magic is beyond your understanding in a sense it's usually like how it's kind of played up like it's beyond your understanding this is it's a very similar prospect like another good example of that kind of idea also i i, I know i'm not talking about it, but also one first off a few things one i love her design i love this art style someone said also that this looks like infamous and the, yeah like that's another reason why i brought up infamous. yeah this kind of really looks like, like out of the cutscenes of infamous but uh the original infamous and that's in the second one uh second son didn't have no, so yeah, so he's not like hitting the cutscene that one. But anyways, um, uh, what was I thinking of? Oh, her, yeah, but like, like uh, sci-fi and technology. There's really no difference. A good example of this is Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, that game. If you haven't played it yet, it's okay. I gotta replay it to see if I like it anymore. Like, I I just remember playing. And I'm like, I I just want to play Assassin's Creed. <laughs> And that's kind of the problem with like things like open world games nowadays. If you don't let me climb shit, I kind of feel like it's Assassin's Creed without one of the coolest features in the game. Um, Watch Out Legion actually has some okay climbing. It's not as good as Assassin's Creed 1, but I hope somehow Darcy the, the assassin you can get. But anyways. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, like, it's like, oh yes, you're fighting. Oh, uh, there's Alloy over there. But, uh, ah, uh, oh, yes, uh, you know, she's a girl, you know, in, like, almost, like, it looks like caveman times. But she finds a little magic device that lets her see visions of the past and, you know, control these, these uh, metal animals and all this shit. Like, like, that's an easy way you could describe Horizon Zero Dawn. It sounds like a fantasy game. Um, and it turns out, no, it's all, it, no, like, no, it's actually just technology. We know it's technology. It's where that ancient race, and like, you know, an ancient race left these magical items that she uses to, you know, control these metal creatures and all this stuff. And like, it's technology, obviously, but it sounds magical because it is, because it, science really is just technology thing. And then, yeah, there's probably some different shit about that. Like, oh yeah, fairy tale, you know, he can summon fire out of his hands flamethrower <laughs> like yeah I, there's they, you can basically but ma tech basically technology can e easily replace magic can easily be said yeah it's just advanced technology you just don't understand it and like i'm saying this again what few reasons one i like this and like that one comment just annoyed the hell out of me and two um and two i like dislike all the hate people are giving the Assassin's Creed it's like oh yeah Cassandra has a magic spirit it's not it's advanced technology shut the hell up basically I just want to say is just because there are powers stuff like that it's like oh yeah it has a technology reason it doesn't mean a magical reason can't have a technology reason just want to say that and I know I'm saying that while wearing a Gwen shirt which <laughs> which like one of my biggest gripes of Ultimate Alien Force was literally I don't know why I'm bringing this up during this it's a tangent Alien, Ultimate Alien Force, I didn't like that they made it all aliens and they tried to outright magic. Keep magic in there. Magic is a supernatural force that you can channel through some means. Fine. Whatever. Anyways, I like this character. I like this. I like the art style. I like everything about her. I, I'm currently playing around, like, honestly, on the screen right behind her is the game, and I'm going to play a little bit more with her, the main story. But yeah, I like this. This is cool. I like this character. This is fun. I'm definitely going to keep playing more. Um, tell me, and hopefully you'll, you'll see the gameplay of it soon of me playing a little bit me messing around with it um but yeah tell me in the comments below thanks for watching so far the update for that game is pretty damn good and tell me if you guys want to see me play some of it maybe i'll stream it but thanks for watching good videos and we will see you later